What's up, YouTube? This is Third Battalion from 8 Bit Co op, and I want to thank you for joining me today as I am here with my lovely wife, Shaylin, and we are going to be playing some more uh, Romero's Aftermath. So, today I think we had decided we are right here at Trader, Trader's, Trader's Den. Den. Trader's Den. We're going to head um, southeast over here to the Barney Farm. And we're gonna hit that up and search this area. Um, we got a couple of tents over here to the uh, east, and we hit this gas station, this little town here. I'm gonna go over and hit this little town over here, hit up Smoky Metal Farms, and end up in the Bambiville Safe Zone. So, yeah. Bambiville Safe Zone. Well, you say Bambi Zone. So I'm, I'm going know. along with you. I don't know. If there's any purple dinosaurs that we run into along the way, we're going to go ahead and kill them in the Barney Farm. And this is Shaylin, and I am with my husband, a battalion going towards the two farms down south. So, I guess I should let him lead because he has the compass. Don't you have a compass? I gave you a compass. You can bring I save the compasses when we go out so and that. In case our lives get snuffed out. Yes. So yeah, I am yeah. I am trying to be tactful about what? our our little deaths. What is it, Snowder? Snowder's are staring at me like she wants them. She's like, Daddy, pay attention to me now. I want to play a game too. I'm going to give Mommy to play. Yeah. Look at my little dog paws and I can do stuff. Yeah, the hmm. problem is our dog doesn't know that she has a she doesn't have any opposable thumbs. So also does not know how to shut up because she barks a lot at everything. And it's funny, she's not really an aggressive dog, but you would think from the way she barks, she is. And then if you shoot a and then you would run up on her and pet her, she'll, she'll feel coward. She's a pit bull, too, so. Yeah. Especially if it's a baby. She oh. really, really is intimidated by babies. Yeah, like, like toddlers, you know, not like babies, just like toddlers that, you know, they have no fear, so they don't know, and then they see the dog, oh, hey, a doggy, and they want to get the dog, she, like, that's her, her kryptonite, she really is deathly afraid of toddlers and all that stuff, so there is a uh, vehicle here, I think I am, okay, yeah, it was over just a little bit this way. Yep, yeah, we gotta go more of the easterly direction, if I wasn't stuck on the rock. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are correct. You are absolutely correct, love. I am leading us astray. Like a cat. A stray cat. We uh our other dog. There's a uh uh oh. orange and white tabby that my other dog just simply loves and adores. It's like, uh your dog, you're supposed to be like, Oh cat, eat it. But no. But he nope. is a special needs dog too, so I mean we gotta take that oh, here it is. Yep. Oof popped up but right. you know he is a special needs dog so we gotta take that into consideration I mean like really a special needs dog he uh, oh crafted nine millimeter bullets in there for you okay. you did bring your nine mil right no no I never bring my guns um, with me either I store them making. oh I should have brought that 22 now I'm thinking like just so you have a little bit of firepower. I mean it's a twenty two, but still, you know, okay, there's another there's another one over in yonder direction south go to. No, no, it's east. It's another uh it's northeastern and northeast what is that land? Oh the monoculars. The monoclox in the northeasterly direction. We're gonna go this way. Head in this general direction. Is it on the other side of the it's on the other side of this thing, so we have to go south to go up and around. Oh, you're right. Okay, we can't go on. Well, literally, we can cut through that right there. But okay, we'll go. We'll go south. Okay. It looked like there was a little dip over there that we could pass over. I don't know. But oh, this looks like a road. It is a road. A road. It looks like it ends. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it just turns. As most roads do. They end eventually. Huh. But yeah, our our other dog, I, I kind of feel for him every now and then because he is special. 
He's just special. There's no other way to describe him. You know, we could, because this is low, we could go ahead and cut up and across here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Now, here's the thing with our, our, our playing of this game. It's, yeah, I apologize for being really uneventful. It's just, we, we, we hopped back on server four because I met, I messed up. I messed up, made a mistake like I did in last video. The last, I said in the last video, we were on server eight and I couldn't remember. So I was like four and they were all, they're all like between 18 and 24 player out of a hundred. So 120. Yeah. So we're running this thing where we're not, you know, we get on a the server. There was what, 22 people on this one or? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even see. But that was one of the highest number server, or highest amount of people on the server. Highest pop. Yeah, and it's just there's not many people playing this game, and you know a lot of the reason is because the stigma that's behind this this company, you know. So people are like, I don't want to shell out money for a game that you know that their last iteration of or you know iteration of this game was horrible. They failed and they made a lot of people, you know, pissed a lot of people off. And a lot of people felt that they were cheated, you know, and scammed. So there's not a lot of people playing. There's, I mean, you can reach out. There, there is some, but we just are not running into them. Like, uh, and you know, I do apologize that it is kind, of, it is kind of boring. People want to see playthroughs like this, and they want to see, you know, exciting stuff. Well, the other thing is, is they want to see that the game's gonna work. That combat isn't glitchy, that, you know, that it's gonna be okay to invest their money. Yeah. And the hard thing is, is that, you know, if there's nobody on a server, it's hard to give them that assurance. Are we gonna just go south or are we gonna go up into the top of this little nook and get the one up there? Um. No, 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 I'm just going to head south. To the Barony Farm. Yeah. Where we can kill, you know, I think it's ironic that it's the Barony Farm and it's a purple building. Mm -hmm. So. But, I'm yeah, that is people, people have their, their, their reservations about this game. And I'm sorry, I had to adjust the mic. I don't know if you heard that, but um, people have their reservations about this game. And so that causes there to be, you know, not a lot of, not a lot of players. There's only 10 servers. So, and then maybe out of the 10 servers, maybe 200 people that are playing. You know what? I found there is an 11th server. It's called a Prime oh, server. Oh, yeah, the Prime server. You were showing me that the other day. I have no idea what that's about. So. Well, there's a difference between the novice and the Prime servers. The novice mm -hmm. are the ones that have under so many hours, and the um, Prime servers are the ones that have over... I think it's like 30 hours of gameplay or something like that. Why? Well, I, I, yeah, I don't understand. Are we what, gonna cross over and get that Winter Bagger? Where is it? Right across from us. Um, yeah, we hit the Winter Bagger and then hit the town. Um, the farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I'm not sure what that means. You know, 70 hours, like 70 hours of playtime. So do you get automatically get thrown over there? Which it, it'd be cool. I, I, I could see that. You know, because if you're playing 70 hours, you're gonna be a lot more geared than other players. That's one of the things I didn't I, I, like. Okay, there are some games that are just it, it's hard to balance PvP. Right. Okay, and there are games like Star Wars: The Old Republic. That's a game that we're playing right now. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with one it. One of the games. But yeah. one of the issues I have with the PvP is you get thrown in situations where oh, there's a zombie. I'm gonna take the zombie out. Okay. You get put in situations where you are fighting people, and the PvP brackets are really unfair because. You're fighting, you're level, say you're level 12. You're fighting a level 29 that has all his abilities, you know, up to level 29, which are good. It's, it's going to dwarf the abilities you have. You know, they're going to have a substantial amount more than you. And it's kind of like you're, you're, you're completely handicapped. And even though you're bolstered, you know, having health points sometimes is not the same as having that, that um, skill. Yeah, the abilities, the armor, you know, the gear. You don't, you know, you're both, you still don't have the gear. The farm is this way. Um, what's this right in front of us? That's the gas station. We said farm, gas station, gas station, mm. farm. Remember? Blarney, farmy. Barney farm, gas station, 
Um, tent, tent, gas see, station, farm. Oh, I don't see the farm from here. Hmm? I thought I'd be able to see with the binoculars. Uh, not necessarily. It could mm -hmm. be right over that rise because it looks yeah, like. that's what it looks like. There's a big road here to take us down to it, and this is the the dirt road to take us to it. So. Yeah, the road. So, oh man. But you know, when you have such a disparity in levels, like for that that PVP bracket, for example, it's like thirty to fifty nine. And yeah. That's a huge difference in yeah. the accessibility of your skills. Yeah, and, and that game at like fifty one you get your your talent that you know, basically your master talent. Like for my commando, you get your ability that allows you to use one of your main abilities, you know, uh, full auto while moving. That is such a huge just having that ability has increased my survivability, my damage output and all that stuff exponentially. Well, it sucks when I have to fight somebody that has that and I don't. They have every advantage where they can just do all this stuff and circle around and I have to stand there and just pass because I don't have that ability, you know, because I don't have that point. I, I think PvP should be bracketed. Like in Dark Age of Camelot, it was like every 10 levels. So, yeah, so you were fighting somebody that had abilities that you didn't have. Yeah. But it wasn't so much that uh, I thought I saw something up there. It wasn't so much that you know, you couldn't recover from the deficit. Like, you, like, oh, this guy's got, his skills are so, uh, he has so many more skills than me, and, you know, his damage far outseeds mine, even though you're bolstered. Even though you're bolstered, you know, you still don't have the same stats as that other person. You know, and not having them abilities, it's a huge, oh, I just. It's a I, huge deficit. Yeah, I've never enjoyed that in games. I've always, I've never understood why they do that. So, but anyways, I don't know if me wanting to complain about that. It's just something that irritates me that I, you know, I thought I'd bring up because when she was talking about that Prime server and it made me think about, you know, yeah, okay, if you've been playing that long, you're going to have a lot of gear. What is this, plastic pipes? Oh, no, plastic. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Peniple. I will take that. I like Peniples. Ngazi, bandages, bandages. bandages. Now, these bells here, they are a treasure trove. Uh, you have a cornucopia of stuff around them sometimes, and I'm I'm just I'm searching around by the bells of hay, and I'm going into this back house to the left of the house that you were just in. All right, it looks like a barn, and then there's another building. If you want to search the big white building, well, I'm in this Adrian. building right here, and the, then I'm gonna the building I was in. Yeah, the first building. Okay. Yep, and then I'm going to search, like, the vehicle. Did you hit up the vehicle? No, not yet. Well, I, I, I was leaving that all for you. I apologize if you can't see. It is a little, oh, juicy apple. It is a little hard to see right now. And I wonder... Ah, there we go. So, I have a torch. And, oh, that doesn't make it any better. But, wow, if that, if anything, that makes it you worse. You torched it? No, I have a torch in my hand, and just oh wow that's well well I see that it does weird lighting effect thing is one of the one here? of the things that I do like is, is that you can climb up I'm not a platformer just FYI I am not a platformer but you can climb up onto different structures to be able to to get things that you know you may not normally recognize or find so yeah I was just hopping up on that thing to see if there was anything up there there was not so more purification tablets I will take purification tablets I'm a big fan of purification tablets I've used them before uh, to purify like water we've done some pretty neat stuff um, in, in the Marine Corps like as far as survival training goes they actually you get pretty down and dirty when it comes to you're down in this big white building right here? No, I'm not in a white building yet. Oh. I can see you running down, running down to it on the hill. Look to the left. I'm holding a torch, so. Oh, okay, I see you down there. I'm you going over into this building down the hill. I did not head towards the white building. And there is a zombie coming towards me. Well, that sucks. You can't climb it. No smoking. Diesel oil. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Well, that wasn't cool. What happened? Yeah, it said no smoking. I'm here. I am running around with a freaking torch. It's a <laughs> diesel fuel tank. But we done some pretty cool stuff in survival term. We we had to um, learn like uh, we would have like little classes like when whenever there was downtime for us. We would, you know, we had a, a pretty cool sergeant. He would do crazy stuff. I can't remember his name, but he, but he made us eat squirrel and crap. It was, uh, but anyways, he was he was mad cool though. He was from Louisiana, and you know he was was talking to me and uh, well he was talking to us, and he was telling us that you know he grew up like living off off you know the land basically. And that's what they did. So he he know you know he knew his business, and we were, we got there and we practiced starting fire with like a fire plow, bow drill, you know, several different techniques. I've I've started a fire with a fire plow. I've started a fire with a bow drill. You know, I've started a fire with a um, of course with a striker and everything. Um, so I I've done it before, and once you get you you get the hang of it, it becomes a lot simpler, but. It's never a guarantee because there's been times where I've just had the ideals. You know, I've had the perfect wood. I had the you know mm -hmm. 550 cord. Mm -hmm. I've had, had the perfect wood. Well, it was, yeah, I've had 550 cord. I, you know, I've had awesome kindling. And did you hear that? Mm -hmm. yeah, somebody, somebody pulled out a knife. But I had perfect kindling and everything. And I tried to start a fire, and I was so confident that I would start it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll get this stuff. And I had a broccoli. That's kind of nasty. And you know what? I said, what? he didn't start the fire. Mm. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. But, yeah, I and I, no luck. I mean, I tried for about 45 minutes to get this fire started, and it just would not start. So it's not a guaranteed sign. It, although it does become easier, I do want to make you know that perfectly clear that even though it does become easier, it is not a guarantee. And it's that is one of the things that takes a lot of practice to get. But once you get it, you get more confident I'm than if you need to. Yeah, I'm I'm over by the umbrellas and I'm checking them out. Is that you running around over there? Yep. Okay. So but anyways, we um he showed me how to make like snares and stuff and I like, you'd be surprised like making a snare. It's a lot easier than you think. And he was explaining, you know, is that you running across the road? Towards to the, the White, White House? House? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, ooh, what the heck? Broccoli seed. Okay, I like broccoli. I could do Oh, broccoli restaurant. Oh, there's a zombie chilling in the water. taking a, sh a bath? What is going on with that? That's, I ain't drinking that water. I want scuzzy now. Got all zombie floaty bits in it. Found a compass. All right. Now we know which way to go. Well, we always knew because you moved ahead of compass. Oh, yeah. A head of broccoli. Yeah, I get a head of broccoli in there. Yeah. Why am I picking up smoke grenades? I don't ever use yeah, them. Yeah, I'll use them. Yeah, I love the smoke grenades. Where are they at? Well, I'll bring them over to you then. Stomach medicine. Because I'm full. Broccoli. I'm in the house. So oh, no, I'm... fresh tomato over there. I ain't picking that up. Oh, pick the tomato up. I'm not picking the tomato up. Oh, a rookie backpack. Do I have a rookie backpack? I do have a rookie backpack. I don't need that really There's my blue one. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and drop this rookie backpack because I don't need it. I don't want you. Don't want you. I'm dropping a whole bunch of stuff. I think I will take a flashlight, but I'm tired of it. I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. Oh. Gonna, Is that you with the flashlight? Yeah, I don't like running around with the flashlight, but for the viewers, Oh yes, I love picking up these. These are always good. No spicy. So, what do I want to use? I'm gonna eat this head of broccoli. Yeah, Here. I always oh. eat. Oh, I, I, I. I always eat the vegetables. Beet early. stick. What? A spiked beet stick. Handle your business. What? I'm about to beat the oh, tar out of something with this. I don't want to drop that. But. Yeah, so people viewing can actually see what it is. Cheese chowder, um, cheese chowder, going for cheese chowder. So wait, how am I looking on oh, drink wise? I need to drink some beverage eye. So let me drink this and drop it. And let me drink this red bull. Oh, I'm sorry, Romanoff energy drink. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and purify this water. And I will pick up this cheese chowder. My wife made uh, cheesy broccoli soup. Oh, it was delicious. It was yummy. It was the business. I was like, mm, no, I tell my stomach's like, oh, we're happy. Yeah, we're nice and cool. We got cheesy broccoli and ham in us. We're good to go. All right. Yeah, run outside. Hey, where are you? I'm here. Yeah, again, I don't know how many times I stressed how stupid. Uh, it's like the worst starter weapon. I'm going to give you a flashlight at night. And then I was playing the game. And you started with a flashlight, but you couldn't turn it off. It was like permanently on. Oh, that was the most annoying thing in the world. Yeah. Alright, I'm outside. Oh, oh crap. What? Uh, I mouse roll, mouse roll, mouse wheeled my thing. And, ah, I just called zombies to us. Oh, great. Oh, my notch blade. A big old plume of smoke. Oh, okay. We can roll. We're just, you know, just doing a cursory look for time-wise. You know, we gotta kind of hit these areas pretty quick so we don't um, go over. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out while she's still looking there. I'm gonna Which head to the gas station. Going? I'm heading west. Okay. I'm heading west. The I gas see station. You're over by the um, wheat barrels. Yeah. Wheat barrels. Cracker wheat bales. Cracker burger. Mm. We ate yesterday at a restaurant called Jolly Johnny. Or what was it, Johnny Houston? Johnny Houston. Oh, Johnny Houston. Man, I screwed that all up. Uh, Tuesday, Mondays, but they their food was pretty delicious. So yeah, we're getting we're about to go on a really intense. Oh, excuse me, I apologize for that. Intense uh, workout regime. I have my twenty uh, fifth high school, twenty five year high school reunion coming up, and I want, of course, everybody wants to look good for those. So. Am I headed to the gas station? Oh, I am in fact headed to the gas station, yes. I'm, I want to look good and I want to lose weight and it's in seven weeks. So we got bikes and everything. So we're going to start riding, getting up at 4.45 in the morning and riding. I'm going to start off with three miles. And there was a point in time a couple of years ago where I was riding uh, around my, my parents lived. Uh, it was the neighborhood that you could ride around was exactly a mile from their driveway. And it got to the point where I was doing... Uh, 100 miles a week. 20 miles a day. Got 20 miles a day in the morning. And uh, yeah, I started getting good. You're done with that one. What's that? She just didn't want to get it. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. I don't even think I was hitting him. I'm wondering if the two times that I got hit was by you. You see, there's one back behind that house over there. Which one? Okay, which which house do you want to search? Um, I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna go over that way. Over here doesn't really help in the dark. But okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out the flashlight so we can see. So we can properly search this. I'm at, it looks like I'm actually at the gas station. Oh, there's another smoke grenade. That'll help. That's nice. I love my smoke grenades. Shot many a smoke grenades in my tenure in the Marine Corps. This is great. There's a zombie walking around. He's Michael Jackson. Thriller! He's doing a thriller zombie walk. You see that? I do. Oh, man. Michael Jackson. I love me some Michael Jackson. Ooh. Ooh, a shooty gun. I got me a gun to shoot me some stuff. An orange smoke grenade. It's a shotgun. Whoa. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop the empty cylinder. There it is, club rats. Another orange smoke grenade. But, oh, yeah, we got this. This. Mm, a shotgun. Haha. <laughs> no bullets. But you know what? We got a shotgun. Alright. So he's coming in. Okay. 
So I got the garage next door. I think this is the house I just came out of. Okay. Awfully familiar. <laughs> but now we're going to put some plastic in the container. Flash lighter. Uh, he got lit up. <laughs> you are so good. Fuck that. Flame on torch. Some binoculars and a. Who, who just randomly just leaves binoculars lying around? Empty uh, fuel pod. Okay, I will take a fuel pod. Here's this. There's a, some books. Some literature. Literature. There's some literature in there. Very illiterate people. Some literature. Well, if you notice, I pick up a lot of the crafting stuff. And by a lot, she means all of it. I don't pick up none. And by I don't pick up none with his double negative, that means he doesn't pick up any. I retrieve no. You know, if there was something I could fix about this game, it's this. Look, this is a wide open. You can't get in it. That doesn't make any sense, sense to me. That no. is senseless. So this this episode, I thought this, this episode is probably going to run but. over a little longer than our normal episode. But you know what? Hey, that's okay. Every now and again. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? He came out with the quickness. He was like, "Hey, you're here finally. I've been waiting all day for you." But yep. let me see what I, I need. This ends. Oh, I need drinkage. He needs to drink. Dies in a very loud voice. Oh, hey, look! It's Malibos! Malibos! Yeah! Give me some muffles. One man shop at Malibos for some time. I hope they have all the stuff that I ordered in. All right, I, I do all my shopping here. This place is great. They normally have good little mushrooms. They have good stuff here. Mm, a can of stew. Just. Not even it's Stewie? just Stewie. Hey, Stewie. Mm -hmm. Muffles, potato chips. Muffles, uh, oh, juice box. Ah, uh, you know I go. I'm, I'm gonna get it for the juice box. I'm okay, already full. Let me go ahead and eat this cheese chowder. I'm gonna eat these banana bananas. Eat these chips. Banana bananas. Banana bananas. Yeah, and some watermelon. Cool down active. Okay, Erin, I should just stop because I'm getting a little carried away. I see that. What? Rah, rah, rah. Oh, I don't like that answer. What? I don't even know where that is. I, I, apparently, I asked, hey, anybody want to come and nibble on me? And that dude said, ah, ah, ah. I don't even understand that, but I don't like it. You can flashlight them to death, too? Yes, and it's actually quite effective. I'm actually surprised how effective the flashlight is. And if you hit F, you can turn it off. Huh? If you hit F, you can silence your flashlight. Silence light? Oh, there's jumper cables? You can break them down. What building are you in? I am oh. heading... I'm currently at um, the thing where the you are. The thing. All right. Ugh. Is that just you that went behind the building? Yeah. Yes. You mean the... Um, Definitely Gas you. station? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Man, I would. Whiz bang firecrackers. You can break them down to get chemicals. Chemicals? Assorted material. Hey! I'm up on hey, the roof, so. How's it going, sweetie? Uh, uh, in your face. Ooh, it gets up. Uh. Sure, it's, it's dirty. It's funny because from up here, There's no kind of laundry I can know. see. Your um, flashlight light. Yeah. Dish, dish. <laughs> That is quite funny. I'm dropping all these wooden bats. Yeah, we have a, a, a large number of things that we really don't. I just picked something up and I don't know what I picked up. Oh, a huge pouch pack. Oh, sweet. Now, how many spots are in a huge yeah. pouch pack? Yeah. Slap. <laughs> Okay, let me kill her before this dude joins the fight. Oh, shoot. No. Bad zombie. No. No. You get on the ground. You stay there. You think about what you did. 
Oh man, he's all kinds of yoga pose. Look at that. He's yoga up. That dude's a grand master of yoga. Namaste. Holy Jesus, look how jinked he is. Good lord. Dude, yoga master. A box of sugar. What? That dude has no more need for it. He's like, oh, he's he's like, bones, I don't need those. Check this out. He's just transforming into an amorph a party cup. A box of sugar rapes into chemicals. He just turned into an amorphous blob of just awesome right there. He was like, watch this. You think that's cool? And he, oh, wow. I don't even know what to say about that. Like, dude, are what? you still in the gas station? I am not in the gas station. I Did you get everything out of the gas station? Uh, probably not. <laughs> that is a tr negatory. You didn't get any of the I crafting materials. I don't search well. Do you Laundry detergent, know? plastic plates, shattered mirror pieces, a smoke grenade red. Oh, I, I said, I, you know what? Inventory. Eat those chips and you take that. I, I, I pick up dumb stuff. I have a habit of picking up, like, I just, uh, I love smoke grenades. Smoke grenades are just so awesome. AKA, he has a habit of picking up dumb stuff. Just hucking, I'm gonna huck a smoke grenade at this guy. Reach. Smoke grenade! Do we? Oh, I totally bonked it. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I overshot. What is he doing? He, he might smoke grenade? What? You see that? Look at that. has bananas. Yeah, I lost it. You know, oh, smoke, I mean, you know, orange smoke. It tastes so good. Mm. That looks like a cloud of CS getting. Oh, you, you lost interest. Did not get a lot of stuff out of here. No, I didn't. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do stuff uh, for the sake of time. Assorted metal. Yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and. Um... So I didn't want to get done. We want to get done, but. So this is Romero's Aftermath. Unfortunately, it was not as eventful uh, as a little um, co-op playthrough as I thought it would be. But this is pretty much what the game is. And I think it's an improvement over uh, Infestation. I think I mean, it is. However, you know, it's I do have room. little reservations. There's much. Look at this dude. Uh, did you I'm go in the police kidding. station? G G G yes, I did. That's how I got the shotgun. You got a shotgun? Yeah. Where was I for that? Uh, sitting right next to me in the living room. Huh. But, yeah. Sorry. Would I recommend this game? Uh, if you have Infestation already, then yeah. This is much better than Infestation. If you don't, there's probably other better games out there for you um, to, to play with. So, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. My name is Third Battalion. I am a half of 8 Bit Co-op. I want to thank you guys for joining us today as we do our playthrough of uh, Romero's Aftermath. As I said, it's not a bad game, and you know, pick it up for yourself it's, and play it if you like. If you want to see, if not, you know, it, it is what it is. So it is worth it if you already have the, um, like you said, if you already have the initial infestation. It is worth it because you know you do get the game for free. So, I mean, that's something to definitely keep in mind. Why do they have this stack here? Can you jump up somewhere? Oh no. Um, but I am Shaylin. I am the other half of 8-Bit Co-op, and I appreciate you taking time out of your schedules to come and watch our videos and support us. So thank you, and have a very good day. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next chapter. Take care.